Right now, these are the top 10 stocks Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway is buying and selling. We know this through Berkshire's latest 13F filing, which gives us a sneak peek inside of their portfolio. In addition to Buffett, keep in mind there are two other managers who buy and sell stocks at the company, so some of these positions might be theirs. We'll try to add detail to understand who's buying and selling what. There's also a bonus mystery stock that it seems Buffett himself has personally been buying. Berkshire asked for special treatment on its 13Fs for each of the last two quarters of 2023, likely with more than a billion dollars invested into the company and something he's still adding to today, it falls into the financial, banking, and insurance category. The first stock on our list Buffett's been cutting for multiple quarters in a row and a rare loser for him is HP. HP is a $29 billion computer equipment manufacturer that trades in the middle of its 52-week high and low. Buffett is the biggest super investor with a holding in the company, even though it's something he's lost money on. Still, based on a DCF analysis today, it looks like there's a small upside for HP with a $32 fair value. That's just above analyst target price for HP at $31 per share. The first stock Buffett bought more of in this quarter was Chevron. It's one of the two largest oil companies in the United States, and it's his fifth largest position. Another stock personally selected by Buffett. Very different from his track record with a lot of other businesses, Buffett has bought or sold Chevron stock in each of the last 14 quarters in a row. That's pretty incredible and something out of the ordinary. With the most recent dip in the fourth quarter of 2023, Buffett added more. He could have very well taken the proceeds from selling HP and put it directly into Chevron. This $292 billion company that today trades in between its 52-week high and low but when Buffett was buying in, was closer to its low. Again, given the size of his holdings, Warren Buffett is the biggest shareholder in Chevron of any super investor. It seems a DCF analysis puts Chevron right around its fair value of $154 per share. But analysts are quite a bit more bullish with a $176 price target. Next, a big surprise sell and something I want to explain more is that Berkshire trimmed half a percent of their holding in Apple, their biggest holding that makes up 48% of the portfolio. This comes as a surprise as Buffett stated in the annual meetings that it's been a mistake to sell Apple in the past. This was especially the case in late 2021 and just prior to the pandemic. Still, this recent sell may not be Buffett, even though it's his biggest position. Initially, Todd Combs, one of the other investment managers at Berkshire, bought into the position, and it's what really got the stock on Warren Buffett's radar. There's been some speculation Ted Weschler, the other investment manager, may also have a position in Apple. These two managers invest their portfolios independently of Buffett, so it's likely not Warren doing the selling here. It's probably one of them. Apple is the second largest company in the world with a $2.8 trillion market cap. Again, Warren Buffett through Berkshire is the biggest super investor in the company. Apple today trades pretty close to its 52-week highs, which it was at in the end of 2023. Even with this recent trimming, a DCF gives a fair value of around $191 per share for Apple. Again, that's less bullish than analyst price targets at $206 per share. But unlike the other stocks, there's one analyst with a sell decision here. So far, we have two sells and one buy. Our next buy is Occidental Petroleum, which we already know about through earlier filings. Because they own more than 10% of the business, every time Buffett buys in, he has to disclose it after a few business days. This is because Berkshire owns 28% of the business, and it has outstanding warrants, which if exercised would make it own more than 30%. Occidental is just behind Chevron in terms of portfolio weighting, and it's a company that Buffett's bought into personally in the last couple of years, pretty much for around the price that it trades at today. Occidental is a $53 billion oil and gas producer with a big footprint in the Permian Basin in West Texas. It also trades in between its 52-week high and low right at the price Buffett's been buying in the past couple of years. Again, he's the biggest shareholder in the company. A DCF analysis puts its fair value right at where it is today, of around $60 per share. Berkshire's been secretly buying into a financial company in each of the last two quarters in 2023. This isn't the first time Buffett's asked for confidential treatment from regulators. In the past, he's bought shares of Chevron, Verizon, and Philips 66 using this same withholding of disclosure. Based on the company's own reporting, their cost basis in financials increased by more than a billion dollars in the third quarter of 2023. 
This also likely went up in the fourth quarter, and it may be revealed when Buffett publishes his annual letter and the third quarter's 10Q at the end of February 2024. Likely Berkshire's buying a pretty big financial company, that's pretty surprising, given that in recent years he's sold his financial stocks, including stakes in some of the biggest banks. Right now, there are just a handful of financial companies in their portfolio. It's just media speculation at this point, but some think that the target may be Morgan Stanley, BlackRock, or Chubb. There's also rumors it could be Fairfax, which is listed in Canada. Time will tell after this position is revealed. DR Horton is the next business on our list. This one was completely sold out of. It's a $48 billion home builder that trades pretty close to its 52-week highs. This position was likely from Ted Weschler. In fact, it's likely he sold out even closer to its 52-week high. DR Horton was part of Weschler's broader basket bet on home builders with a current fair value price of $154 per share based on a DCF. Analysts aren't as bullish on the company with a $146 price target that's still just very slightly up from today's current stock price. Paramount Global is the media company that's been in play owned by Sherry Redstone. Berkshire is one of the largest shareholders of its Class B stock, which has economic but not voting rights. Today, Paramount trades very close to its 52-week low at only $12 per share. Still, this $8 billion company was a big purchase probably from Warren Buffett himself. He commented on the business when he was visiting Japan in 2023, and since he first bought in, this stock is down more than two-thirds. Potentially with some of the other buying and selling that was taking place, this could have been a tax lost harvest for Buffett as he didn't sell out all of his position and we'll have to see whether he was trimming or trying to exit it entirely. Paramount is likely an asset play either being acquired in full or broken off and sold as separate parts. That's why a price target by analysts comes in at around $15 per share. Keep in mind there's currently an offer that equates to around $21 per share for Paramount's holding company both of which are well below where Buffett bought in. Markel Group is the next company that was fully exited by Berkshire Hathaway. This $19.5 billion specialty insurance company trades closer to its 52-week highs. While this is speculation, this may have been an investment by Todd Combs. He's the current CEO of Geico and an expert in investing in financial companies. As a former regulator and hedge fund manager investing into financials, it's safe to say he knows insurance. Still, with that full exit, a DCF gives a current fair value of around $1,700 per share, giving Markel around a 17% upside. The next stock buy in the portfolio and something already previously disclosed is Liberty Media's SiriusXM. It's likely Ted Weschler has been investing into the company ahead of a planned merger between Liberty Media SiriusXM's tracking stock and SiriusXM, which trades on its own. This combined new stock, new Sirius XM, would trade for roughly double their tracking stock. Given that Berkshire owns more than 10% of the business, they've had to disclose their investments in this $29 billion media company that trades close to its 52-week highs. With that merger planned for later in 2024, a current fair value based on a DCF is around $32 per share, but the planned merger gives a time adjustment of more than doubling the investment. Next, Stone Co. was another company Berkshire Hathaway completely sold out of. This $5 billion business is one of the leading financial companies in Brazil. Likely, it's an investment from Todd Combs, who fielded some questions about it from Bill Ackman at a breakfast at Columbia Business School. Combs told Ackman he liked the unit economics of Stone Co. and its major peer, Newbank. Combs invested into the company pre its IPO. Since then, it has actually performed pretty poorly as a public stock, but it did go on a tear in 2023 and trades pretty close to its 52-week highs. It's interesting he held for these few years and decided to sell now, as a DCF looks like the company has nearly 100% upside with a $33 fair value. Analysts are also bullish on the company, but not as much as their financials, with a $23 per share price target, giving it a 39% upside. We'll see if there's any more commentary as to why he sold the business. The final company that Buffett himself sold out of was Globe Life. This $12 billion insurance company that currently trades at its 52-week high is a stock that he's held all the way since 2003. It's interesting he's reversed course on the business and completely sold out all in one quarter, especially after holding it for more than two decades. 
when we look at the numbers, a current DCF analysis gives it a fair value right at today's stock price of $127 per share. Now, these are the 10 stocks, plus their mystery stock, of course, that Berkshire has been buying into and selling out of. With the mystery stock included, they've only bought into four businesses. Likely Buffett added into two here, Chevron and Occidental. Ted Weschler added to SiriusXM. And maybe Buffett or Todd Combs potentially added into that financial mystery company. Otherwise, it looks like Buffett had three cells with HP, Paramount, and Globe Life. Ted Weschler had one cell at least with DR Horton. Todd Combs had two, likely with Markel and Stone Co., and either Ted Weschler or Todd Combs was trimming back some of their position in Apple. There is the off chance, however, that that was Buffett himself, even though it's been a mistake in his past. So what do you think of Berkshire Hathaway's recent portfolio moves? Which stock is the most surprising to you? Let me know in the comments below, like the video if you enjoyed it, and watch this next one for more updates on companies in the current stock market.